Hello, Europe. <laughs> I am not here. I'm being represented by a local medium, Mr. Olaf Johannesson. <laughs> Who he is, I don't know. I've never met Olaf Johannesson. I've never seen Olaf Johannesson. I haven't even heard of Olaf Johannesson. <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> and yet, today, he will do his very best. He will give his life and his time to be what I am. I don't know your language. I will address my people in our language. Our language is not your language. You are, and you always will be, foreign to our language. <laughs> and yet you'll do your very best to understand our language and to speak our language. You'll even do what you can to replace your words, to replace your language with our language. <laughs> the language of hope. Our I am not talking to you. When I say we, you are not included. <laughs> when I talk about us, when I talk about our victory, when I say that this is our chance, that this is our moment, that this is our time, when I talk about democracy, when I talk about government of the people, by the people and for the people, and when I address those people who believe that their voices could be a difference, those people whose voices actually became and are and will be that difference, you are not included. <laughs> and yet you'll listen. <laughs> and yet, in spite of all your previous doubts, you'll feel that this time, that this chance and this moment and this democracy also belongs to you. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dreams of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer.
<laughs> it's the answer told by lines that stretched around schools and churches in numbers this nation has never seen by people who waited three hours and four hours <laughs> many for the very first time in their lives because they believe that this time must be different. That their voices could be that. <laughs> difference. <laughs> could be that difference. <laughs> it's the answer spoken by young and old, rich and poor, Democrat and Republican, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Native American, gay. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> disabled and not disabled. Americans who sent a message to the world that we have never been just a collection of individuals or a collection of red states or, uh, and blue states, we are and always will be the United States of America. It's the answer that let those who have been told for so long by so many to be cynical and fearful and doubtful of what we can achieve to put their hands on the arc of history and bend it once more toward the hope of a better day. It's been a long time coming, but tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this... Il <coughs> no, 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 I didn't go. <laughs> get, 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 Just a, I mean, this feels like blasphemia. I mean, who am I to, uh, what am I? <laughs> I'm just some European, uh, some European actor. <laughs> <laughs> this is something completely different. This man, he's he's so uh, he's so uh, human. I was never the likeliest candidate for this office. We didn't start with much money or many endorsements. Our campaign was not hatched in the halls of Washington. It began in the backyards of Des Moines and the living rooms of Concord and the front porches of Charleston. It was built by working men and women who dug into what little savings they had to give, $5, $10, $20 to the courts. Who strength from the not so young people who rejected the myth of their generation's apathy and Sorry. <laughs> what was I? Yeah. It grew strength from the not so young people who braved the bitter cold and scorching heat to knock on the doors of perfect strangers from the millions of Americans who volunteered and organized and proved that more than two centuries later, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people has not perished from the earth. This 
is your victory. No, 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 no. We shouldn't do this. This is wrong. I, I can feel it. This is dangerous. I mean, who are we to think that, that we could ever say or do anything like ever, ever? No, we shouldn't even touch it. Come on. I know you didn't do this just to win an election. And I know you didn't do it for me. You did it because you understand the enormity of the task that lies ahead. <laughs> for even as we celebrate tonight, we know the challenges that tomorrow will bring are the greatest of our lifetime. Two wars, planet in peril, the worst financial crisis in a century. Even as we sit and stand here tonight, we know there are brave Americans waking up in the deserts of Iraq and the mountains of Afghanistan to risk their lives for us. There are mothers and fathers who lie awake after their children fall asleep, wondering how they'll make the mortgage or pay the doctor's bills. There is new energy to harness new jobs to be created, new schools to build, threats to meet, and alliances to repair. The road ahead will be long. Our climb will be steep. We may not get there in one year, but I have never been more hopeful than I am tonight that we will get there. I promise you, we, as a people, will get there. Yes. There will be setbacks and false starts. There are many who won't agree with every decision I make as president. We know that government can't solve every problem. But I have never been and always will be truthful to you about the challenges we face. I'll listen to you, especially when we disagree. And above all, I'll ask you to join in the force of remaking this nation the only way it has been done in America for 221 years block by block, brick by brick, calloused hand by calloused hand. What began 21 months ago in the depths of winter cannot end on this autumn night. This victory alone is not the change we seek. It's only the chance for us to make that change. And that cannot happen if we go back to the way things were. It cannot happen without you, without a new spirit of service, a new spirit of sacrifice. So let us summon a new spirit of patriotism where each of us resolves to pitch in and work harder and look after not only ourselves, but each other. Let us remember that if this financial crisis taught us anything, is that we cannot have a thriving Wall Street while Main Street suffers. In our union, we rise or fall as one nation, as one People. <laughs> and to all those watching tonight from beyond our shores, from parliaments to palaces, to those who are huddled around radios in the forgotten corners of the world, 
Our stories are singular, but our destiny is shared. And a new dawn of European leadership is at hand. <laughs> to those who would tear the world down, we will defeat you. And to those who seek peace and security, we support you. And to all those who wondered if Europe's beacon still burns as bright, tonight we prove once more that the true strength of our union comes not from the might of our arms or from the scale of our wealth, but from the enduring power of our ideals. Democracy, liberty, opportunity, and unyielding hope. For that is the true genius of Europe. And Europe can change. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Hey, 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 hey. Jeg går ud af mig. I was not here. <laughs> I was represented by a local medium. Who he was has no importance as long as he did what he as a European could do. As long as he went as far as he as a European could go to live his life, his vision, his hope through our words, through our vision through our hope. If he succeeded or not, I do not know. But this is not the time for doubt. Europe, I trust you. <laughs> Thank you. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. <laughs>
So there they are, President and Vice President-elect, on their big night in Chicago. Music plays in the back. They had great music in Invesco.